What's up, y'all? It's me. I'm back with another video. Yo, I told y'all I was going to be more consistent. <laughs> but yeah, y'all already know what time it is. This is the video to show y'all finally my one year mark. And I am so, so, so hyped to really finally be one year in. Yeah, I'm going to just like kind of let y'all see that real quick. This one year. I probably got a little dandruff in there, y'all can see. But yeah, this one year, man, it's crazy. The growth is just absolutely insane i just cannot believe that my hair is really this long i mean y'all saw it's kind of giving lauren hill vibes right now but man y'all saw the uh y'all saw the beginning videos man y'all saw when my hair is like sitting right here y'all saw them ugly two strand twists and everything so it's definitely um cool to finally be in the one year mark man the one year club man um i've definitely fallen in love with the fact that um i have absolutely nothing i really gotta do as far as tending to my hair when i wake up in the morning i mean you know all the most i gotta do i gotta brush the sides of my head you know the maintenance that i have there with my undercut but you know other than oiling it or you know just trying to make sure that you know um i can't even say retwist it or something in the front because that doesn't even matter i mean literally the most i might do in the morning is oil it like and just make sure it, it gets some moisture or some to, to some degree when i'm in the shower so like that's definitely been one of the things that I absolutely love about this journey. Just the low maintenance that it that comes with it. Because, you know, for a long time, when I had my curly afro, when I did the two transits, when I tried to do different styles on my loose natural hair, um, I was just really, really finding that a lot of my time was being consumed with doing my hair before going out or doing my hair before I go to bed or trying to make sure I'm trying to maintain a style or something like that. The most I got to do now is maintain a retwist. So the fact that um, I'm, you know, really this far in the game and, you know, I never even envisioned doing it, it's just absolutely crazy. Um, I try to, <laughs> I know I don't ever be having B-roll or anything like, that, anything like that, so I try to make sure that I recorded different videos um, closest towards my ear mark, just so for this very moment, I would have some footage to show y'all my growth um, from the very beginning. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I'm more than positive you guys would definitely see the growth just like I have. Um, it's, it's pretty crazy. Ooh, look at me doing my little locks up. But now nah, it's pretty crazy, like, how much of my hair transitioned. I remember when it was extremely frizzy and that was, like, a big thing that I just could not, um, you know, deal with. And I always wanted my hair, um, needed, you know, to be neat and everything like that. But I truly just shot, started to embrace the, um, my hair for what it is and the textures that it comes in and just how beautiful and unique that it looks. Um... It's also, it's just, I don't know, it's just something liberating about it. just starting to embrace yourself in every form. I don't care if I have a retwist, I don't care if I have a lot of nasty at the top, I don't care if even a little bit of hair is coming out of my locks. I still have found ways to embrace myself and my hair. And I just, I don't know, I don't know if I would have ever gotten to that point with my, with my fro because I just, I, I don't know. I was literally just so consumed with my hair. Like, it is so crazy talking about this out loud. I just like you kind of see that I'm scatterbrained because it's literally a thing where this is my first time really just sitting here like, dang, like, man, I really have started to embrace myself and really started to see myself in a different light because of my hair, but not in the way that I have in the past because before I was so consumed with it and I was just trying to make sure it looked good and I was just trying to make sure that, oh, my curls are popping and this and that. I don't have to so much worry about that. Like, I really am starting to realize that I am not my hair. Um, I don't know. I, I, it's, it's just really no other way to put it. Um, I don't know. I keep looking at it because this is junk. It's just so crazy because I literally remember when I was making my first video and how short it was and how like thin it was. The fact that they're starting to thicken out and they start to get long and everything. Man, I just... I don't know. I'm just hyped. Um, I would love to know more about you all's uh, journeys and how y'all feeling if you are in the one year club. And if you're not, y'all get there. Y'all be seeing this big old chest and cheetah smile like I do. I have right now because it's just one of those feelings like it ain't nothing like this, man. It, it just really ain't nothing like this. Just being able to get to this big year mark. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just a celebration for real. It just feels good to finally be here and finally start to see growth um because i know at the beginning like many other people it's just like a a weird transition phase where you're just trying to get adjusted it always feels like trying to make adjustment 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 and now i just feel like i'm, I'm there now i've already made the adjustment now i'm just waiting for it to drop as y'all can see like i said it's got a lot of um 
it's got a lot of growth on it, man. So I'm just ready to see what this next year is going to bring. So uh, until next time, y'all, y'all be blessed. Everybody stay safe. And I will see y'all next video. See y'all.